All right, we just wrapped up on an install of a Boss V-Plow on an Intimidator UTV. They do make a mount for the Intimidator UTVs. Uh, this is a six and a half foot uh, V-Plow. Uh, it's a very nice setup here. It, it's a heavier duty setup, a little heavier on the front of the machine, uh, but definitely uh, much meaty de meatier design than a lot of the UTV plows. Um, depends on what your needs are. Uh, so this has their smart hitch set up on it. I'm going to try and show you how that works um, and then just kind of show you some of the install and operations. Uh, real clean, you know, it is a little more complicated in the install, but once it's done, you got nice uh, weatherproof connectors up front and center uh, for connecting and disconnecting. You got the smart hitch or the smart, what do they call it? Smart, I don't know, it's smart something. <laughs> But anyways, it's for uh, helping raise and lower and, and disconnecting the plow uh, when you're putting it on and off. Um, controls on the inside, we have this one mounted over here. And you got the standard boss controller. Um, so let's uh, let's show you some quick operation here. Let's see, key switch on. Got to turn your controller on. So that's in full V all the way up. Uh, and you can scoop. Angle one way, angle the other way, scoop. Straight. And then uh, float function there. So in order for the smart hitch to work, you do need to have it in the float position. So I'm gonna go ahead uh, you double double click the bottom one to get it into the float mode um, and then you come in here and there's kind of a safety latch here so you take that pull out and then flip down I think that's going to prevent it from coming back at you and then same thing pull Let's see here. Unlock. Lock. And then that comes right off. Then disconnect here, here. It's got caps on both sides so you keep your things out of the weather. Um, and then to reconnect, um, obviously this fell forward, you would drive your machine up and actually I will go ahead and show you the reconnect here Let's start this up oh turn the machine off so I still need it in the float position so once you have it in here and lined up you can then use this smart hitch switch I believe kind of hooks itself in and you're locked in there and see here we got a Pull that up, locks in there, and you're set to go. So, really easy on and off. I would say the biggest struggle, like anything, is just getting it lined up. I think if you kind of use the visual cues of the front of the machine with the bumper, you're gonna be able to get it close enough. And then, you know, it's heavy, but it's not like impossible to shim, shimmy one way or another. So, you're gonna get it close, get out, check your work, uh, and then go on and up. And then from there, you're, you're ready to go. Um, And that's, I guess, a quick overview of the Boss Leaf Plow uh, mounted on an Intimidator UTV. It's a nice setup. So uh, if you have any questions, feel free to comment or reach out. And thanks for watching.